All right, so Joey, when do you want to start the prank? Hey, I don't know. This is starting to feel a little weird. I mean, what if something happens? Oh, come on, man. Nothing is going to happen. Okay, so Joey, do you want us to give you like an entrance call or do you just want to go for it? I don't know, man. I figured since we'd be down by the fire, why not tell a scary story? Get everyone a little freaked out. Okay. Well, who's going to tell the story? What about you, Brad? No way. Fuck Real, shit. I, I don't even know any real stories, let alone have the imagination to come up with something. Well, I don't know. Why don't you say something, Joey? I mean, after all, you are the one who came up with the idea. All right, man. I know a great story to tell. Just tell some stories and I'll cut you off to tell mine. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So we got it all together and let's just meet up later and enjoy ourselves. Perfect. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. Fuck, I wish my camera worked. This would totally win the grand prize on America's Funniest Home Videos <laughs> with Bob Saget. <laughs> totally would. And that would, the world's dumbest shit. I mean, this has to be the dumbest thing we've ever done. And I just, let's play it cool, man. No one expects a thing. <laughs> let's get drinks up. Woo <laughs> woo! At least you wore your formal. Joey. Hey, Faye. You look pretty amazing tonight. Thanks. You're not looking so bad yourself. And we're gonna drink? Sure. Sure. Okay. I hope you're taking good care of my best friend. I don't know. Am I Joey? Shut up, man. Come on. Up, 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 up. I'm just making sure my friend is in good hands. Come on, we've known each other since grade school. People change, Faye. Shut up, you ass. Shouldn't you be with Terry? Well, yeah, but she won't be here for a while. Oh, so you're gonna bother us until then? Basically. Well, all right, all right. Look, let's go bother somebody else. Leave them alone. Thanks, Brian. At least someone has some respect. Come on, I'm just fucking with you, Faye. Don't take it so seriously. I know. If you were serious, I wouldn't put up with you at all. So time you're staying for tonight, man. I don't know. I'm gonna ask Terry when she gets here. All right, cool. I'm gonna see you guys later. I'm gonna see if I can find Kate. Okay. Later. Later, man. Bye, Brian. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Sorry about that, freak. Sorry, Mike and I can't handle your ego. What did you just say to me? Nothing, man. I'm tired of the way you treat me. Yeah, I know you're bigger than me. Kick my ass. What the hell did I ever do to you, man? You're a freak. Oh, so I'm a freak, and that's why you treat me like shit? Yeah, that's a good way to look at life. Joey, sorry about that. It's fine. It's nothing. Don't talk to her, freak. Mike, knock it off. You're embarrassing me. Mike, just shut up. You shut up, bitch! I think you could talk like that because you're some big-time jack and like you of a toddler. Yo, I am warning you now. You and your girlfriend better just back the fuck off. And shut the fuck up. Come on, man. Let's go get a drink. Yeah, man. Just back off. I can't believe this. You're you're really gonna stand up for this fucking loser. Believe it, bitch. Your posse just served you. Yo, Chris. Shut up, man. You're not making matters any better by pissing Mike off. Sorry. I thought it was funny. Yeah, laugh it up. It just might be your last laugh. Come on, can we just try to have a good time? Yeah, guys, listen to Faye. She's right. This is our last year together. Thank you, Emma. So where's the keg at? It's over there by the tree stump. Maybe I'll go with you. Mike, let's go for a walk and cool down for a bit. Whatever. It's much better than being here anyways. Man, I can't believe this is going to be our last year together. I mean, think about it. Just a couple more months, then college. I know. Yeah, this sucks when you think about it. Don't worry about it. We're all within driving distances from the state universities and the uh, community colleges. Yeah, but are we really going to be hanging out? I mean, I know a lot of us are here tonight. We really only come up here to hang out, though. Yeah, I mean, think about it, Joey's right. Like, four or five years ago, we were also having sleepovers and pool parties. Yeah, this shit happens in high school. You get branded with jocks, popularity, you know, geeks, stuff like that. That's bullshit. Jeff Rick, you guys are cool with me. Treat me no worse than everybody else. Mike, on the other hand, treats me like shit for no reason. Don't worry about him. Yeah, man, he thinks he's so tough, but he's really not. He's just all talk. Hey, I got an idea. What's that, man? Why don't we tell ghost stories like we did when we were little? I know a story. But every time I tell it, it freaks me out. 
tell it then. So does everyone know that old mental institution that burned down in Knoxville? Yeah. 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 Well, the person who burned down the place was a patient. He was sent there for murder, but he couldn't be placed in jail because he was so insane. Part you guys would be freaked out by. You used to wear clown costumes. <laughs> Let me guess. Is this your uncle or something, Joey? No, he's not my uncle. I only made and collected clowns because it was a hobby my mom and I did together. Sorry, Joey. I had no idea. It's okay, man. Anyways, the guy murdered his family and he was sitting in a puddle of blood. Once the cops arrived, they arrested him. But they couldn't place him in jail because he was so insane. So we placed him in the mental institution up north. When the police found him sitting there, he had on an old clown outfit and a homemade mask stitched onto his face. The police tried to move it, but the man began freaking out and he knocked out both of the officers. Later when the institution burned down, they found all the bodies but one. We still have no leads on where he is or if he's still at large. That can't be real. Yeah, we would have heard about that. I know, man. But I wouldn't doubt it for a second. I mean, there's no records or reports in like, of that on the news or anything like that. Well, it's not around here. It's like 200 miles from here. I mean, we would have heard about it, but it wouldn't be huge in this area. I don't know, but like stitching your mask onto your face is messed up. Drink. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Kate and get another drink. Okay, if I have to go take a piss, guys. Don't leave me by myself. Just hang with Kate and Tara till I get back. Mm, this won't take forever. Alright. Uh, who the hell are you? What the hell are you talking about? No, not you, Mike. There's somebody standing over there wearing a clown costume. Where? It's probably that freak. I swear, there was somebody standing right there. Is that you, freak? Mike, come on. Let's just go. If it's you, freak, you got something coming to you. Come on. Hey, where's that fucking freak you call a friend? Mike, calm down. What happened? Fucking kid, he's dressed up in a clown outfit. He was just spying on me and Amber down by the lake. Dude, he left here like 10 hundred fucking minutes ago. That couldn't be him in the clown outfit. Amber saw him standing there right there in the woods. Maybe the story just freaked us all out and is playing with our minds. I mean, his dad called him and he darted out of the woods, so it couldn't be Joey. Call him then. All right, put it on speaker so we can all hear this. What's up, bro? Hey, did you try sending a text to Mike or Amber? No, oh, man, I'm on the way home. Oh, well, they said they saw someone running around dressed up like a clown. <laughs> Maybe it's that sicko from the story. Joey, it's Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. You calm down, huh? Oh, ha ha. If I find out this little prank was you, you're a fucking dead man. Mike, I'm 10 minutes from my house. If you want to come check your cat when you get here, you can tuck me in a chicken and roll with my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, man, well, I'll let you go. Later, bro. All right, see ya. Hey, since this is gonna be our last party, how about we take a group picture for the yearbook? Yeah, that's a good idea. There's not many photos for it. Well, where should we take it? Why not, uh, over there, by the big tree? All right, well, let me get the camera set up and you guys get ready. All right, it's on a 10 second timer. Here we go. I hope so. <laughs> oh. What the hell? Dude! Dude, stop! It's Joey! We were playing a prank! What? Yeah, man, it was stupid, but we didn't know this was gonna happen. Yes, it's Joey! Look! What have I done? He's the one who told the fucking story and scared the living shit out of everybody. <laughs> so why did you beat the shit out of him? Look, I had no idea it was him. I just thought it was the killer from the story. <coughs> Everyone, just stop. We need to call the police and get help. I don't know. Look, he needs help. We need to get him to a hospital now. I'm leaving. Come on, Kate. No one is going anywhere. Look, man, he needs fucking help. <coughs> <laughs> Joey, Joey, stay with me. Joey? You killed him! Look, 
There was an accident. And look, we need to all calm down. I'm out of here. I can't deal with this. All right, look, we all witnessed this happen here tonight. If the cops come, they're gonna question us. We have alcohol everywhere, and we're all underage. If one goes down, we all go down. Are you saying to leave him here? Mike, we can't leave his body here. Look, I really don't want to do this, but I am riding on a full scholarship, and I am not giving that up for some fucking loser who no one's gonna even think about. Yo, if we leave him here, it's murder. He's already dead. We already killed him, which is already murder. I cannot leave my best friend here. That's it, I'm calling the cops. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? We can't do this, you know this is wrong. Fine, call the cops, if you think you could fucking handle prison. Chris, we have to do this. Terry, you can't be serious. Everybody, please, just stop, please. Everyone will think he's either missing or ran away. Honestly, who the fuck paid any attention to the kid? Does anybody really gonna miss Joey? So what should we do with the body? I don't know, fucking grab anything to dig a hole. You can't do this. He doesn't deserve this. I cared about him. His friends cared about him. What's his dad gonna think? Oh, All right, pull yourself together and go stand over here. Let the men handle this. Mike, I'm sorry. I, I can't do this. <coughs> All right, Brian, do something with him. Rick, Jeff, come and help me. Let me just forget about this. Let's just finish this shit so we can get out of here. All right, we do not speak about this night to anybody. We didn't even talk about it amongst ourselves. What are we gonna say if somebody asks where he is? All right, we saw him at the party and he left to go home. What if they don't buy it? Just play it smooth, everything's gonna be fine. You call this fine? Faye, I know this is hard, but get your shit together. Faye, calm down. Would you be fine if it was Mike? How would you feel if you had to put Mike into a hole? I don't think you'd be able to do it, so don't you dare tell me that everything will be fine or to calm down. Faye, just shut up. Mike, give her a break. She's scared. We don't know what to do. At least before we go, we should probably say something. I mean, it's the least we can do. Does anybody have anything to say? Chris, you should. I know it means nothing now, but at least you're with your mother again. Joey, I will always remember you, and you'll always be a part of me. You were my best friend, and I'll never forget that. Faye, look, I'm really, really sorry. I, I had no idea it was going to be Joey. I know. I can't believe this is happening. I mean, who would have thought we'd come to a party and this would happen? Just let us take you home. I'm just going to walk. <laughs> Come on, you're in shock. Don't be stupid. Come on, let's take you home. Go. No. Faye, come on. Faye, get back here! Did you find something? Tell me you found something. We're still looking into it, but we can't proceed much further. You can't proceed? This is your job! We've been looking for six months now. Nothing's turned up. So tell me, did you and your son ever fight? Did they have a reason to run away? Yeah, we fought. But you never run away from home. I don't know what to tell you. Look, did you find anything? Anything at all that could tell you what's going on? Well, nothing of consequence. A few empty beer cans, a typical mess after a party. So, you're just gonna give up? What if this was your kid? Would you be sitting behind that desk doing nothing? Would you do something about it? Look, I told you I did all we could. If you're not satisfied, then why don't you do something about it? You told me six months ago to leave it alone and you would handle it. I did, and we did the best we could. There are a bunch of assholes around here. What the hell is wrong with you? Man, you need to calm down. Mr. Valentine, please calm down. I don't want to have to place you under arrest for striking an officer. Hey, 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 hey. let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him hit go. him. I'd already done it. Look, he's overwhelmed. He's overwhelmed. 
by the disappearance of his son. Mr. Valentine, I'm sorry about your son, Joey, but believe me, we're doing our best. <laughs> You're doing your best? Dickhead here just closed the case. Wait, what? You closed the case? That's someone's kid out there. Look, as I told Mr. Valentine, my hands are tied. Look, leave the case open a few, a few weeks longer. Something's got to come up. What about one of his friends? We asked them all. What they told us six months ago will be the same as what they told us today. I'll take it into consideration, okay? Consideration. I'll keep his file open. If we're lucky, something new will turn up. Lucky. Mr. Valentine, why don't you go home and get some rest? I promise we'll keep you informed. Yeah, I'm sure you will. That guy needs to let things go. No offense, but he buried an empty coffin. How can he let something go he has not yet found? He's looking too hard into this, man. He's going to find something that he wishes he hadn't. And what is that supposed to mean? He's been having fights with his son, and then his son's loss of his mother. And if those aren't the reasons to run away, then the kid's probably dead. And who'd want to find that out? It's his son. That's why he needs to know. Look, I've had enough of this. You need to get the hell out of my office and go annoy somebody else. Whatever, Pete. What if it were your daughter or grandchild missing? Would you just give up and stop looking? Just be gone. I would do something about it. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Hey man, sorry, I went through a dead zone. Oh, hey, what's up? Nothing, just going to get Kate and get something to eat and play some pool. You and Terry want to come out with us? I don't know, man. Chris, we don't hang out as much as we used to, man. Well, things are not the same as they used to be. You need to get out, get your mind off things. Okay, perfect. I'll just act fake like everybody else and pretend like nothing ever happened and that we never murdered our best friend. You need to get a grip, man, it happened. I feel bad, but we can't live like this. Whatever, I'm gonna get going. Or am I meeting you and Kate? We're just gonna, you know, grab a small bite to eat and then head to the pool hall for a few hours. I'm gonna go pick up Terry. I'll let you know when we're ready. Okay, man, just give me a call. Just chill for a few so you're not so worked up getting Terry. I guess you're right. I'll call you in about a half hour. <laughs> hey, later, man. Hi, Mr. Valentine. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm fine. How are you holding up? Fine. Look, I really am sorry about Joey. He is gone because he followed you to that party. That was not my choice, sir. He went because he wanted to go. He went because of his friends. You made him go. And I miss my wife and my son. Look, he shouldn't be talking. All he wanted to do was impress you. You never appreciated him or spent any time with him unless you wanted to pick an argument about stupid bullshit. You shut up. Don't mention his name or my wife's name again. You understand me? What are you gonna do? Hit me like you hit your son? Why don't you just admit you were wrong? I'm warning you. Shut up! <laughs> warning me about what? You know what you're gonna do? Nothing. He made those clowns to keep up with his hobby like his mother would have wanted. You loved watching them and spending time with them. What happened to you? You know, all he wanted to do was be appreciated for who he was. Get off my property now. I don't ever want to see you or hear you again. You know what? I really feel bad for you. You're just gonna run your life straight into the ground. Hi, Chris. I don't know, probably just taking Kate home. She's got to work early tomorrow. Oh, uh -huh. well, where's she working now? I'm at that new Halloween store. Just opened up. Oh, where they open up a Halloween store? Um, it's in the old plaza where that local craft store used to be. 
Mom's. Okay. That's where Joey used to work. Chris, do not start with that. It's over and done with. I love how you guys can just say it's over and done with. I'm really sorry about that. It's fine. I understand why he's upset. I'm going to try and talk about it. Who does? I don't know what to do. I mean, every time I see the missile fires, with his face on it, I just I want to tell somebody the truth. I know it's hard. If we tell the police now, we would not even last in front of a jury for a minute. You want to move out of this area? Just start a new life? I mean, since that night, none of us have done anything with our lives. One person just dropped out. I just, I feel like that night is really holding us back. He dropped out of college. Nice. I thought he had a full scholarship. He did, he couldn't keep his grades up, he lost them. I guess that night did a number on us all. Yeah, and Mike was also dumber than a box of rocks, so he would have lasted a year or two. <laughs> he really was not the sharpest tool in the shed. It's getting late. Let's go check out and get out of here, okay? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll grab the check and I'll meet you outside. to meet you. Can you tell me what really happened that night? I don't know. We were drinking like all kids do. I, I already spoke with the other officer about this. Yeah, but I think you know something. You're just not telling me. Look, asshole. I don't have to talk to you. Look, you little punk. If I find out you're hiding something from me, I'll make sure you do some time. Is that a threat? No, it's a promise. Hey man, how you holding up? I'm fine, I'm just sick of feeling so guilty all the time. You're not fine! Tell them what you've been doing. What have you been doing? Nothing, I'm just staying up late in my room, you knew that. He's been sneaking back to where Joey is buried. Dude. You gotta stop that shit. Stop what? He was my best friend and I watched him die. Now we're just gonna pretend like he never existed? Hey, I know what we did was wrong, but we all could have gone to jail for that. But no, we listened to Mike instead. And where is he now? He's back home. He dropped out. So, let's get this straight. He didn't say anything because he didn't want to lose his scholarship, but now he dropped out anyway. Dude, just leave it as is. Don't go and start shit and make things worse. I'm not. Terry, get in the car. I'm taking you home. Do you want me to drive? You can just stay at my house tonight. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Be careful. I'll see you tomorrow. Terry, I'll call you after work. All right, I'll talk to you then. Hey, Mom, it's Chris. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't come home last night. I crashed at Brian's. I fell asleep, so I just spent the night. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about me, okay? All right, I'll see you tonight. Is someone there? Hello? If someone's there, I have a gun! Stop! Stop! Get out of my head! Chris, is that you? Who's there? Where are you? Stay there! Stop! 
Whoa, slow up, it's me. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I was walking to you. What are you even doing here? I came here tonight to apologize for what I've done. I feel bad for what happened, and that we never said anything. Why would you apologize now? Look, this may sound weird, but I've been seeing Joey all over. I don't know if this is my mind playing tricks on me or what, but it seems so real. Dude, it's just your head messing with you. It's the guilt that's killing us. Look, I think we should just screw it and turn ourselves in. Dude, we can't do that now. Why not? That night, everybody wanted to do it. Yeah, six months ago when you killed Joey. We had no idea. Plus, it's your fault for pulling a prank. Look, we can sit here all night and argue, but I'm not going to stay here and fight with you. Let's just go to the diner and get something to eat, okay? Let me grab my stuff and I'll meet you there. All right. Dude, watch yourself out here. Something doesn't feel right. I think something's watching us. Since that night, it does seem like somebody's been watching us. Anyways, where are you parked? I parked over on the north side of the path. What about you? Down the east path. All right. Well, I'll see you at the diner, okay? All right. I knew who you were, why did we ask you that question? Think back six months ago, Brick. Joey? No, Joey's dead. Think a little harder. Who the fuck are you? You still have no idea, <laughs> do you, Brick? doing this because of what you did to me please stop doing this shut up <laughs> see that wasn't so bad now was it oh i'll make sure to say hello to your girlfriend for you too don't you touch her <laughs> what uh, quite if i were you wouldn't want to attract any furry friends now would you fuck you I tried calling Rick twice, called him this morning and last night, still no answer. You should go with me. I don't know. Those things really aren't my thing. I mean, I get scared too easily. And God forbid if I could scare somebody. <laughs> Let me get Brian to go. So you're going with me? Maybe working on it? Uh, definitely not working it, but we'll go for a bit. Oh, screw it. If you guys are going, I'll go. I mean... If it can't get back to me, I'll go with somebody who will. Okay, what what's going on with you two? You were like the perfect cute little couple that everybody thought was going to get married. You know, ever since that night, everything just went downhill. Please don't bring it up. Listen, we all did wrong that night. There's nothing we can change. So we just need to either live with the guilt or tell the truth. It's too late to tell the truth now. Well, one day we might just pay for our actions. But tomorrow night, we're going to get us air on at the party. <laughs> I'm sorry, Faye. I know you and Joey were in love. It's all right. I mean, everyone's to blame. I'm just drinking and having fun. Sorry, um, can we just finish this up? Because I'm on until, like, 8. Mm. What time do you want to go? 4. 
I'll stay and help. I don't mind. Thanks. Hey, I need the extra money. I'm gonna go in the back and see what needs to be brought out to the front. Awesome. Uh, when you're done with that, you can just head out. You sure? Yeah, I think Lexi and I have got it from here. Great, I have some things to take care of before tomorrow, so thank you. Lex, can you do me a favor? Can you just check on the brand, the color, and the model for the wigs? Just see which ones we need to reorder. Sure, sure. I'll get on that. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Rest. So, um, whatever happened with you and Brian, anyway? I mean, nothing. Just... Since that night, the we fight about pretty much everything. It's not like you can just get past something like that. I know what you mean. I mean, ever since that night, our, my relationship with Rick just went right downhill. We fight about everything. It's in the past. What's done is done. That's what they say, right? I wish we could just all get together like we used to. I wish we could finish this. Where the hell is Faye? Oh, uh, she went in back. Alright. <laughs> what? Funny! What the hell? Sorry, I thought it'd be funny. We all need a good scare once in a while. Yeah, did a good job. What happened? I heard you scream. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it'd be funny to scare one of you. Yeah, yeah, you did a good job. Yeah, good job. <laughs> You <laughs> I told you, <laughs> I scare. Just way too easy. <laughs> Are you happy now? Well, now that I've scared both of you, my job here's done. I had to get going anyway. <laughs> what time do you want to meet up tomorrow? Let's see if we can survive tonight first. What the hell is that mean? You scared so easily just now. How do you think you're going to do with the freaking haunted <laughs> house? <laughs> All right, this sounds like you're going to... Try to do something to me. It's not like I'm gonna hurt you or anything. <laughs> how about uh how about we go and grab something to eat beforehand? I can't. I have to go help set up before it opens tomorrow. Alright. Alright, we'll see you at like seven. Okay. <laughs> Watch <you> back. <laughs> Said another way to scare us. Mm, goodbye. <laughs> I'll call you later. <laughs> I'll see ya. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, this mask for um, a haunted house tomorrow. Um, I know clowns are pretty scary. Um, sure. Uh, do you have like a, a good seller? Well, we used to have a guy that used to make his own. Really? Yeah. Is he still around? Uh, no. He moved away a couple years ago. Uh, well, that's rough. But uh. Um, I mean, I'll take this one. Sure. I'll bring you out over here. This one's gonna be twenty-five dollars. All right. Well, the register's down, but what I'll do is I'll make a note, and you gave me exact change. So, all right. Are you uh, are you going to the uh, haunted house tomorrow? Um, I might be, but I have a boyfriend. Uh, um. I wasn't uh, asking you on a date. I was just I'm, I'm new in town. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Oh, it's it's all right. Uh, it, it did kind of come off that way. <laughs> my mistake. Um, but you you are going. Well, you know, if you're new in town, I can introduce you to everybody. That would be great. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Um, all right. There you go. Thanks a lot. All right. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Ooh.
He was cute. <laughs> I know, right? Definitely cutie. Yeah. Oh, he's the new kid in town. Mm -hmm. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Can I get your help? I need to move the new dummy out for display. Sure. Well, what is it? There's something Faye's been working on in the back. Watch behind you. Go by quicker. 
Did your face hurt? Because <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should I let you go? Yeah. Alright, I'll let you go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just let me go. Just let me go. Just let me go, Joey, okay? Okay? Please. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Kate, did you take my car? Kate? The hell? Baby, answer me. You're so much better than Brian. Kate, is this a joke? No. She's long on Brian, but she's also good too. Who is this? Where's Kate? You're a lot of us friends. Who is this? Me. I swear I'll fucking kill you. Well, she's having a 15 year dash. What the fuck kind of question is that? Who gives a shit? Wrong answer. Better start running. What the fuck? Who is that? Let's talk about this face to face. No, it's not. Let's talk this over. You don't want to do something stupid. You're gonna regret. I won't regret anything. I want to make sure you're dead too. Why are you doing this? For shits and giggles, I guess. Look, I, I am sorry. I can't be sorry. That means they fucking die. Come give me a hug for forgiveness. I can't trust you. How do I know you're not gonna hurt me? I'm your friend. I'm not gonna hurt you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One step at a time. Got to skip to you, huh? I'm gonna just drop it. You skip around. You wanna skip around, Brian? Huh? Look, Joey. I I'm sorry. I am not a loyal friend anymore. I just caught this whole thing and then I called the cops. What are you gonna do now? I said you can trust me. No! 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 You're not gonna get away with this. Ah! Oh, screw you, Joey. I'm not afraid of you. saying it was a drunk driving accident. What? Are they all right? Where's Brian at? This doesn't make any sense. He was with me all day. 
So you're saying he wasn't drinking? No, we were just hanging out at my house. Then he had to leave and go pick up Kate from work. Was anyone else with him? Kate and Lexi. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Listen, I think we should get out of here. I think it's easy to say we've all had a long day, and I can't take much more of this. I'm really sorry about Brian and Kate. This is unreal. I can't believe they thought he was drinking. I was just with them an hour ago. Listen, we're gonna take off, so... Just let me know if you hear anything, okay? Hold on, I'll handle this. Excuse me, sir. That was my friend in the car crash. Can you tell me what happened? Can you tell me where your friend was before this? Yeah. He was at my house, and then he left to go pick up his girlfriend from work. And where did you go after he left? Do you think I did this? Hey, look, we don't think you had anything to do with it, but we want to know what you know. Look, I told him that we were at my house playing video games, and then he left to pick up his girlfriend. What the hell don't you understand? Chris, calm down. Uh, do you have something to say? Hey, she has nothing to do with this, okay? She was talking to me. Look, you little pissant. I have better things to do than to stand here and argue with the likes of you. Hey, calm down. You two better get out of here. You give me a call. Take my card. You hear anything, make sure you give me a call. Thanks. And tell your friend over here to roll a J once in a while and take some anger management classes. Excuse me? Do you want me to come over there and teach you a lesson? Okay, please, teach me a lesson. I will have every news station you can think of down here to ruin your life. I can see it now. Picture this. Detective beats up innocent teenager. I will have your job. So please, detective, teach me a lesson. Hey, kid, look, you're really pushing your luck. I think you better get out of here right now. All right. And here's your card, dick fuck. Pulse. Hey, Beretta, come here, check this out. Hey, is that the kid's phone? Yeah, it's on a video mode. Hey, let's play it back. Let's see what we got. Is this what you want, Brian? You're sick that fucking clown? Look, Joey. I am sorry. I am not a loyal friend anymore. I just recorded this whole thing and I called the cops. What are you going to do now? Well, we definitely know somebody's killing these kids. Look, let's lock this down. I'm not going to say anything until we know what's going on here, okay? What are we going to do about this? Look, just do what I said. We're not going to say anything. We're going to figure out what's going on, and we're going to figure out who did it. What more is there? Someone's dressing up like a clown and killing people. kid that went missing six months ago. Joey Valentine? Scott's son? That's who you're talking about, right? Yeah, he was into clowns, wasn't he? Maybe that's him. Why would he come back? I mean, think about it. The father seemed a little on the crazy side. Maybe it could be the father taking revenge for his son. Look, all we know is the kid was into clowns. We have three kids dead. We know that they were connected to the disappearance of Joey. It's the best lead that we have at this point. So we need to find Scott and locate Joey if he's the killer. Okay. You go fetch the father, bring him into the station. I'm going to go back to the station, go through the files again. Maybe we miss something. You got it. Okay. Sounds, See you there. Sounds good. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know, I just like looking at you. I'm not stupid. You only look at me like that when you want something. No, maybe I'm just trying to change. And then tell me I'm the most beautiful girl in the entire world. You are the most beautiful girl in the entire world. Put some meaning into it. Don't just be all, you're the most beautiful girl in the entire world. Show me you mean it. What, I did mean it. Like, how else do you want me to say it? Fine, nothing for you then. Oh, come on, that's not fair. 
Then get on your knees and prove it to me. Are you serious? That or sleep on the floor tonight. Fine. Amber, you are the most amazing person I have ever met in my entire life. If it wasn't for you, I don't even know where I'd be right now or who I am right now. But I know that I'm an asshole sometimes. But when I'm with you, everything just seems all right. And I really do love you with all my heart. And I want to make love to you. That was so cute and sweet. Until you ruined it with the whole making love part. Oh, come on, you know I meant every single word. You're still sleeping on the floor tonight. Oh, come on, you know that's not fair. <laughs> Chris, why don't you come and lay down with me? I will. I just need to clear my head first. Well, talk to me. Well, what do you expect me to talk about? This is so messed up how everything happened. He was just fine. He was going to pick up Kate and he smashed up his car. This just doesn't make sense. Well, what more can be added to it? The cops looked at everything that could possibly lead to anything. Yeah, first everything with Joey, and now this. Hey, what happened tonight was an accident. What happened the night of Joey was just a bunch of kids messing around, having a good time. And then something went wrong. That's it. End of story. Carrie, I just want to get out of this town. I want to run away and start a new life. Leave the past behind. Then let's do it. We can move somewhere nice and warm. We have nothing though, Terry. We can't just up and leave. We will live out of the car. Well, what about showering and stuff? We'll move to California and shower at those showers on the boardwalks. Terry, I just want to make you happy. I want you to live the life of a queen, not the life of a bum. Well, let's plan it out. We can try and make a move in a few months. Well, we'll try to at least find a job before we go. All right, sounds good to me. Now come over here already. Terry, you make me so happy. I'm so glad we got to know each other before we graduated. I'm glad too, baby. Now come over here already. Amber, you think you'll marry me one day? I think so, even though that's an odd question coming from your mouth. No, I really mean it. I really don't think I could ever find another girl like you. Then I would be honored marrying you one day. Have a nice house with an ocean view. That'd be nice. You can go to work all day. And I could stay at the home and relax. You're an asshole. What? You know I was only kidding. You know, you really had a moment. Oh, come on. I know I was only kidding. I really didn't mean it. Then kiss me. Okay. Now lay down and give me your hands. Now stay here until I get back. Why? Where are you going? I am going to take a nice steaming hot shower. Well, that sucks. At least let me come with you at least. You stay here and be good and I'll treat you to something nice. Suspense is killing me. Amber, is that you? Yeah, I was just checking to make sure you were still here. Why wouldn't I be? And hurry up with this surprise because it's it's killing me. Well, soon you'll have your surprise. I, I just have one more question for you. What's that? What do you really want to do for your birthday tomorrow? I don't know. Surprise me. Alright. Now just go hurry up. I'm freezing here. Surprise now, finally. So it's gonna be one of those silent type role plays, huh? Did you just get over it already? Oh my god, Mikey Likey. 
Ah, all right, all right, I said stop, stop! What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Stop! <laughs> this is an amber. What the fucking surprise you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> What did you do to him? I gave him a surprise like you wanted to. Except, I don't think it was what you wanted to give him, was it? You killed him. I did, didn't I? Why? I don't want you to feel the pain I felt when you left me in that fucking hole. I don't know who you are. You know who I am. No. Think back six months ago. I've been in fucking some ditch. Joey? I think you're right, aren't you? Please just let me go. Now what's this? I heard Mike say it was your birthday, didn't he? Yes. So you should let me go. Why is that? That can be your gift to me. Maybe, you know, I was thinking we can do something. Spend your birthday together. I don't want to do anything with you. Why? I've always liked you, Amber. Because you're a fucking psycho! <laughs> You don't have to do this. Please. I can help you out. Do I look stupid? No, you don't look stupid. Just don't answer that! Please. Please just let me go. I'm not gonna let you go, Amber. Surprise! I always knew you were the guys. Hey Beretta, do you have a moment? Yeah, sure, come on in. What's up? I went over to Scott's house, and he was nowhere to be found. Yeah. Yeah, count him out. Why, did we catch him on something? No, he died earlier today. A call came in about a, an old shack on fire out in the woods. And the local police and fire departments responded. When they got there, they found a 
man dead in the fire. So how did they know it was him? Well, his car was parked out front. They did some forensics and they got the results back. And on top of that, they got another call about some kid's body found out in the woods. And what's the story on this kid? Well, what we know so far is his name is Rick Patton. And we questioned him during the disappearance of Joey. So then it has to be Joey, right? Well, not necessarily, but you know, who knows? Jimmy, what I don't get is, why would you wait six months to come back and kill your friends? Well, maybe we should let the others know. No, no, not yet. Let's let them think it's a different case. What we need to do is focus on catching this clown and putting an end to this mess. What do you want me to do? Well, why don't you just sit tight? Go on home, get some rest. I think I'll hang around and work on things and let's see if something comes up. All right. Well, just remember, this is between you and me. We're the only two to know this. You want a coffee or anything? Nah, I'm okay, but thanks. Okay, if you need anything at all, let me know. All right, take care, Jim. Hey, Faye, it's Terry. Um, you never called me back last night. I was wondering if you're all right. Okay, well, give me a call back. We're going to breakfast, me and Chris. Uh, so give us a call back or just meet us at the diner. Just checking up, see if you're all right. You have just heard Warning Level's new hit single, I Surrender. So right now, if you're caller 10, you will win backstage passes to meet Warning Level after their concert. So hurry up. Lines are going off the wall. Come on, answer, goddammit. I really need these tickets. You are caller 10. Are you kidding me? Am I really caller 10? This is Debbie. I'm so happy. <laughs> I am not kidding. You've just won backstage passes. I can't to see believe it. Big Mama got the tickets. Finally, I needed this. Oh my god. Hey, somebody was just kidnapped. What did you say? There was a guy. There was a there was a man dressed as a clown who just grabbed a girl and dragged her off into the woods. Is this a prank or something? No, I swear. What should I do? I think you should call the authorities. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this creepy building up here. Just stay on the phone with me. All right, well, to all my listeners, you're getting a real treat tonight. This is like creepy, but an exciting live horror story. What's happening now? Give us some gruesome details. Okay, I just pulled up to this creepy building. I'm going to go look in the window. I think that girl might be dead. How do you know it was a guy? I think this is a joke. I'll have to let you go. No, dude, you stay on the phone with me. Don't you fucking hang up the phone. Is that a threat? No, I swear. I'm I'm getting out of the car now. I'm going to go look in that window. Just hang on, I'm walking up to the window now. Look, lady, I'm tired, and I don't have time for this. <laughs> hello? Are you all right? Debbie, hello? Well, I think you got more than you asked for, so congratulations on being Caller 10. Back to some fine tunes here with Gruesome Herzog, the voice of horror. Also, happy Halloween to all, and have a safe night. Hi, ladies. Can I take your order, please? Hey, how many in your party? Just us. A table or booth? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Follow me. Hey, Chris. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Mandy. Hey, what would you like to drink? Oh, uh, anything die, I'm watching my figure. So, did you guys see Mike or Amber's car out there? No. The last we saw him was last night. Well, they didn't, weren't answering their phones. Well, they probably just got into one of their moods last night. You know how they are. Well, maybe, but me and Amber were supposed to go shopping later. Well, did you try going to one of their houses yet? Uh, no. We were going to go there after we got something to eat. But did you guys want to sit with us? I mean, there's plenty of room and stuff. We don't want to intrude. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just sit over here. 
No, come over here and join us. Oh, okay, if you insist. So what are you guys gonna get? I don't know, probably just a plain burger and fries. That's what you used to order when we were little kids. Old habits die young. So you guys ready to order? I will take a double cheeseburger please with bacon, well done, pepper jack cheese, wheat bun, and a side of sweet potato fries with honey mustard and barbecue sauce, please. I think I'll have a chicken wrap and uh, fries, please. Um, turkey club on white bread, please. And what would you like, dear? Can I get a turkey club and a small salad? Hurry, I'll put your order right in. Thank you. So, what do you guys think happened last night? I don't know, but something seems weird about it. Come on, let's not talk about that. Are you guys going to that spook house festival later? Yeah, I think we're gonna take a drive up. Well, why don't we meet up there then? Alright, sounds good to me. What time are you guys going over? They won't be doing the hayride until after it gets dark, so probably like 6.30 or so. Alright, well give me a call when you're about to head over there. Okay. Just checked and your food's gonna be out shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go, uh, text Mike, see what's going on. Do you want me to come? No, I'm just gonna text him. Okay. So, what else is new with you guys anyway? Same old. Nothing's really gonna change. Chris and I are thinking about moving in a few months. Where are you going? I don't know, and I don't care. Everything's been so weird and crazy around here ever since the whole Joey thing happened. Yeah, I want to get out of here. Then do it. That's what we were doing. Well, I can't. He's not going to leave his dad behind. You should just tie him up and throw him in the trunk. Right, I'm just going to go kidnap his dad. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, they were just telling me that they were going to move in a few months. Great. Where are you guys thinking about going? We don't know yet. It's for Mike. Hold on. I got a text too, and it's from Mike. Same here. I didn't get one. Yeah, I just got one too. What the hell? Why did he text everyone? It says, come meet me where Joey was buried. Mine says the same thing. Same here. Mine too. Well, do you think we should go before it gets dark out? Hold on, I got another one. It says, come after the sun sets. This better not be a prank. Some sick joke to play. I'm not going up there. Well, I think we have about two hours before it gets dark out. Well, why don't we try and find Mike? Sounds good. I really don't want to go up there at Wait, all. Your food's going to be right out. Um, um, can we just get the checks? Is there anything wrong? Ah, uh, no, it's just one of our friends. We just got to go meet up with him. Well, as long as uh, everything's all right. Oh, I think it will be. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, we'll drive around the south end, and you guys can cover the rest. All right, so we'll meet up in about an hour. Can't we just stay here? Nothing's going to happen. Mandy, we can just stay back in the car or something. That sounds a lot better than driving around through the woods at night. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Can I get your change? Uh, no. no. The rest is free, go ahead. Oh, great. You know, you guys have a great day. You think I'm Come back sometime. Hey man, it's Chris. Chris. All right, well, did you guys find Mike and Amber yet? Seriously, not yet? All right, well, we're gonna be up there in a little while, okay? So just wait by the path, wait by the campground, and then we'll meet you somewhere, okay? All right, see ya. Where the hell is Mike? I don't know, man. I say we split up for a couple minutes, just to cover more ground. Can't me and Terry just stay here? I don't know. I think I want to go with Chris. Mandy, it's up to you. Either stay here and wait, or go with me, or them. Fine, I'll go with you, but let's just hurry up already. Alright, if anything happens, yell for us. Same with you guys. <sighs> hey, I don't think we're on the same path as before. I know, I just didn't want to say anything. I just hope we don't get lost. Me too. Let's just turn around and head back. Screw Mike and Amber. Let's get out of here. Look, we're gonna be just fine. We'll find them soon. I want to get out of here. It's starting to get creepy. Alright, well, we'll go a little further. Then we'll turn around. Okay, stay close to me and hold my hand. Did 
Did you hear that? Yeah, what do you think it is? I don't know. You think it's Mike or Amber? Mike, is that you? Amber! Is anyone out there? Can we please go now? Look, it's probably just an animal. Come on. Chris, I want to leave. Can you just listen to me for once? Fine. Let's just go find Jeff and Mandy and get out of here. Yo, Mike, where you at? Amber, come on, this isn't funny! Chris, Terry, can you hear us? Where are you guys? Ugh, Jeff, can't we just go home? Yeah, let's just go back and get them. Wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? What are you talking about? There it is again. Come on, that's Nothing over here. Listen, just go back to the campsite. I'll be there in a little bit, alright? Be careful. Whoa. Oh! Ah! Are you? Ah. Uh, Joey? Uh. Mandy! Jeff? Uh. Jeff, oh my god. What happened? It's Joey. What? He's alive. Let her go! Do whatever you want with me, not her! Let her go! She wasn't worth dying with. Kill you, shouldn't I? You're gonna die, Joe. Do you remember me? Joey! We knocked out of the fucking park, buddy. You're in pain, buddy. No, you're not like me. Because I'm fucking better than you. At least I wouldn't leave my friends to die. Oh, wait. I fucking killed him, didn't I? I can't kill you now. It's better that way. Hey, leave him alone! No! Let him go! About. You're that psycho from the mental hospital. No, that was a story for a made-up prick. A prick that you have me to fucking die for. Joey? Is that you? You seem surprised to see me, Chris. But we buried you in the ground. You, you had no pulse. How is this even possible? I'm sorry to disappoint. If I never turned into a freaking girl, I think it would have been a little easier on everyone. What do you want with us? Hold the bitches up. Fuck you, Joey. We didn't mean to do this to you. No, but you didn't mean to die. You could've gotten to the police, but you did nothing. You could've gotten some fucking hole. Look, we're sorry. Just let us go. Let's talk this over and get some help. Sorry, I want you to suffer and know what it's like to lose a loved one. I swear to God, I'll kill you if you hurt Terry! Hey, you liked when I did balloon animals and stuff, right? Wow. I, want to, I have a new trick I want to show you. Please, just let us go. Let's talk this over. We can work something out. Sorry, I can't do that. I do need a volunteer, though. I'll help you. Any takers? I said pick me, you unimaginable bastard! Terry, you wanna help me out? Get the hell away from me. Pick me. Just let Terry go. Terry, you wanna help me out? Get the hell away from me. I wouldn't move for you. I would wanna hurt your pretty little self. Stay away from her! Please stay calm and enjoy the show. Joey, please stop! You don't wanna do this! 
to make her hurt only a little. Terry! Leave her alone, Joey! No, it's fine for me to Just fucking stop! I'm gonna take a little pizza now. Ah! Just crying and crying. Do not! Joey! Joey's doing time! Joey! Don't Joey, don't Joey, don't Joey. That. So I went back and he wasn't there anymore. Joey. When I turned around, he was right in front of me, just covered in blood and dirt. I took him back here to this very spot. I cleaned up his wounds and helped to give him a whole new look. His face was really messed up, but he didn't like that at all, so we just his clown mask and stitched it on his face. Why though? Why hurt us? Why couldn't he just tell me he was alright? I was not there to die. He was the only one who came back and took care of me. Why do this though? Did you really think you'd get away with this? Alone? Probably not. With Faye, yes, I think I will. See, Joey did all of the killing and the planning. I was just more of a setup to trick everyone. You know, I feel like he is the Joker and I'm Harlequin. After you saw Rick that night, I followed you out and made sure you didn't come back. And then he stayed behind to take care of Rick. <laughs> the Halloween store had to play a huge role. I had to trick Kate and Lexi into staying behind and getting me to leave. And then when I got in the back, I could set up as a statue. <laughs> After I scared them and left, he came out and took care of them. Oh, but his dad was the worst. There's so much wiring to do. Then I got to sit back and just watch as he did what he wanted to for <laughs> You are a fucking nutcase! Don't speak here, I said! Tonight, it's really hard to make sure that you and Terry weren't one way. Jeff and Bambi left the other. Why, though? You left a friend behind. Straight back down. No, I mean, you just know what you felt. Hey, listen to me No, now. you listen to me! Hey.
Chris, where are you? Joey, I hope you die. Pete. Yeah? We have someone in the interrogation room. You can wait. Come on. You can wait. No big deal. I think it has something to do with the disappearance of Joey that's been missing. I think it might be that kid, Chris. Well, all right, all right. We gotta go see you. something. I know who you're looking for. Close the door. Uh, first, how do you know we're even looking for somebody? What, what, what the heck, kid? I've been missing. All my friends turned up dead. I know who killed them. You have to listen to what I have to tell you. Look, look take it easy. What, 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 how do you know we're looking for somebody? I don't get this. Well, Chris is going to get away with all of this. You, your friend Chris? Is he the one that did this to you? Yes, there's more to the story. If you stay in this and I'll tell you it all. Listen, we have to step out for a second. Give us a moment. Fine, but if he gets away with it, don't say I didn't warn you. All right, just just sit tight, okay? Come on. Listen, we need to we need to listen to what this guy has to say. I don't know. You think he's telling us the truth? Well, the guy's in rough shape. I mean, why would he turn himself in now? I don't know, Pete. Honestly, I don't know how this kid's mind's work. Yeah, you know. This is what we're going to do. We're going to listen to what he has to say. Then we're going to try to figure out what this Chris is up to. Why he killed these people. We're going to figure out how we can catch him. All right. As always, I'll follow your lead. All right. Good. I told you to listen to what I need to say. If you had listened to me then Chris would not have gotten away. I mean, I would not have gotten away. Here are the locations of the others that I took care of. Also, turn over this note when you've read it. I really like your family. I think I might just go and visit them. Oh my God, lock this place down. You gotta get this guy. What the heck is going on? Go! Jesus, what are you doing out here? You should be looking for this guy. He's a nutcase. I didn't see where he went. Yeah, well, I didn't either, but I expected you to see at least what direction he went into. I was with you the whole time. I, I did not Come see Come on, him. man. The guy is nuts. He's going after our family. You saw the note. You heard it. I know. We'll just calm down. We'll get him. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him, all right. We'll get him. We gotta get him. We gotta get him. Where did he go? Where did he go? Look, we gotta calm down. We're good. We're hey, good. hey. That's, was that him? That's him.
Cool to all your friends. 